because you know you, you see the time that somebody puts into the job and prepare themselves and uh, and then so for that any time it happens but especially week one in the opener uh, it's just it's heartbreaking because uh, you know I, just, I know how much he wants to be out there for the guys to fight first team and uh, and even the play itself just to show the fight that he had you know even late in the game it was tough so um, so just just heartbroken for him. You've been through this yourself you know, a bunch of times so I'm sure you feel exactly what he's going through. Yeah uh, I mean obviously last year we dealt with it you know in that open drive so. Uh, just to, just to keep his mind in it, you know, and, and stay around it. And I know he will. He'll be right there every step of the way with us, helping us prepare. And and, uh, and uh, just to know that this is another part of his story, and it's unfortunate. Uh, but, uh, but you know, all the confidence in the world that, that uh, you know, he'll do everything he takes to, to, you know, to, to heal and get healthy and, and get back. Josh, can you uh, just address how you feel? You know, you've been through so much this year in terms of uh, were you going to get traded, were you not going to get traded, were you going to be here or not? Now here you are back as starting quarterback at least for the next eight Right, yeah, you know, uh, everything just kind of works out, uh, you know, and, and you never know. And so you just, you just, that's why, that's why cliches are cliches because that's, it's a day at a time type of business in life, really. And you just, you know that you have this day and you go do everything you can uh, to, to conquer that day and whatever task you have um, and, and, and then wake up and get ready to do it again tomorrow. And so that's my mindset. And so here we are today uh, with an unfortunate, you know, injury to Robert, but it's, uh, it's now, you know, for me to step up and, and serve my team as a backup quarterback, step in for, for an injured player and, and uh, do the best I can to help us. So I'll do that, you know, try to have a good day today. We'll do, you know, um, I'll, I'll conquer the off day tomorrow um, pretty good, I think, and, uh, and, uh, and then we'll get, we'll get going. So, um, so our focus is on Baltimore and, and what we need to do to clean up some of the things from the game uh, yesterday. Josh, Gary, when you see Robert get hurt, we didn't know how bad it was until today, but like on the flight home last night, are you thinking, all right, I might be the guy now and start kind of mentally preparing yourself? Yeah, I think, you, you know, yeah, so we sit next to each other on the flight and he's got a bag of ice on his shoulder and, and you know, we're talking a little bit, so kind of understand. Uh, what, how he's feeling and, and, and whatnot. So, um, so in your mind, you obviously have to start going. You know, I, I mean, I'm I'm saying a prayer for him, hoping he's okay, but also mentally going, okay, if it's if it's your time, you got to be ready to go and start going through that process. So, um, so yeah, it's it's one and the same because, and like I said, always, especially in the quarterback room, in every room, but you you're, you're so tight and and you grow in, in relationships with guys and and so. Uh, so it's it's not just a teammate; it's a friend that's getting injured, and you're and you're, you know, you're you're bummed and heartbroken for that guy because you you know the dreams and aspirations that he talks about when you talk in the quarterback room and the things that he wants to accomplish and the goals he has for his season, and uh, and so um, so it's heartbreaking. But at the same time, now you have to shift mindsets and go. This is this is a job that I have to do for my team. So um, so it's it's a you know a little bit of a juggling act, but but you know, as we always say, it's the next man up, and you move on and you, you focus on the next week. I think we must have asked you this in before, but did you know Robert before he got here? Just uh, had met a few times um, post game playing the Redskins, so that was that was uh, really it. Josh, the the, the play uh, during which he was injured, mm -hmm. um, a lot of people are saying, you know, well, why didn't he slide? Other people are saying he's trying to get it out of bounds. Coaches saying it was kind of bang bang. He's trying to get it out of bounds, to protect yeah. himself. How did you see that? Well, I. Face those why didn't he slide questions before, yeah. and uh, I'm, and uh, very familiar with those, and um, and so you know what I can say best is is just the same answer that I had for you guys last year is as a competitor, you know, in your mind and in the moment of the game, you're fighting to win the game, you're fighting to 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 get every extra yard you can, um, you know, looking at the tape, I think his mindset was actually to get out of bounds, and so I don't. You know, when you look at it, it's kind of bang bang, but you know, I think it was, it seemed like his mindset was to get out of bounds. I was talking to him, he, he thought he was going to be out of bounds. So, um, so sometimes those things are unfortunate. And, uh, and, you know, in that type of ball game, you know, maybe giving up a yard and getting out is uh, sooner rather than later is better. But, uh, but again, it's in the heat of the moment and in a competitive environment, it's, it's, uh, it's hard to dial back that sometimes. I understand that. I know you're always one play away. 
number two. But how drastic of it kind of is a switch for you going from, okay, thinking it's going to be RG3's job to all of a sudden it's yours for a long time? Yeah, well, uh, it, it's, a, it's a change because uh, I think for me, um, you it's just different hats. So you enjoy the role of kind of uh, the backup and being able to help different um, not only the, the quarterback, but different position groups and being another set of eyes for everybody um, to now uh, having to be, um, you know, in the day to day, having to be ready to take every rep and be really focused on um, on each and every play and in the, in the practice and all that. Because a lot of times um, when you're not when you're not having to take the rep in practice, you can kind of look, step back and look at the big picture and make sure this receiver is doing this and, you know, help be able to help a coach here or there or whatever if, if, uh, if need be. But, um, but it narrows your focus a little bit more, obviously, because you're having to take the reps. So you need to focus on what you have to do as a quarterback. So, uh, so that's really the biggest change. Um, it's just the, the day-to-day with the practice and stuff. Josh, can you talk about um, you're going to play for the Baltimore Ravens, 457 yards uh, last year in, in a game. You kind of know them. You played them a little bit in both games. Can you just talk about that? Yeah, just uh, – Watching the tape, I mean that was last year, you know. Um, so this year, what we see on tape, and uh, and watch some last night, watch some this morning, is they are uh, they're you know getting back to their form of how Baltimore plays defense. You see that um, get, they got some guys back, Terrell Suggs back, and uh, and so um, so they'll they'll they're they're a hard nosed group. There's no doubt about it, especially the front seven, um, and you add a veteran in the back end like Eric Weddle. Uh, who's, a, who's a fantastic player too. So, um, so they they uh, they held you know Buffalo 50 plays or so, and so that's a short amount. And it's a lot of three and outs and whatnot. So, um, so we'll have our hands full. We know that, uh, but uh, all the faith in the world and the coaches are going to put a great plan together for us, and we're going to come out. And, and the thing is, from week one to two, similar to preseason, is that uh, everybody can kind of get the regular season uh, jitters out of the way, and uh, and. We can look at the tape of our game and make our corrections, and then focus on what they're doing, uh, and then, um, and then, you know, internalize this game plan and be ready to go play good ball Sunday. From what you watched yesterday, from your vantage point, what were the struggles? Do you think offensively? Well, like I said, I think you know everybody kind of took a turn with some. You hope and, and think it's just you know kind of open and day jitters. We had some young guys out there, uh, certainly playing for the first time, and 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 then uh, you know. Just in a new offense in general, and um, you, you you do get work in preseason. There's no doubt about it. But uh, but there's no substitute for regular season work, and um, and so I think we we can turn on the tape and, and learn a lot from what we saw. Just little things, technique wise, um, that that you hear each coach talking about with his group, and and uh, the things that we could do better to um, you know, if it's making you know making a block, making a catch, making a throw, whatever it is. It's just one thing that each guy could do better, and uh, and take um, a, you know, the, the two or three plays that we made and turn those into seven or eight bigger plays that we made that can affect the ball. Game. How excited are you to, to get you know, this offense and do the things that this offense will allow? Uh, very excited. You know, since, I mean, even before he was hired, I remember, you know, telling you last year when we played Cincinnati on Thursday night how much I respected what they were doing. It's like the tape, like what they were doing on tape. And so, um, so now to be at this point, it's really cool to, to have an opportunity to play in this offense and to see uh, how Coach Jackson and Pep, how they work through the offseason, putting it together and, uh, and building it. And, uh, and so um, I'm looking forward to the game plan we put together and, and studying it. And uh, I, I just am impressed even last week at how uh, Coach Jackson you know, put together a plan that felt like he could attack the defense. And like I said, um, from an execution standpoint, we got to execute at a higher level because the plays were there to be made. We just got to go do it, and uh, and so hopefully that'll be the case this weekend, and, and we'll get that done. Josh, any part of you also looking forward to getting back out there? Because I mean, I know you battled through a lot of injuries last year, but you put up some really good numbers. And when when the, your season ended, you had one of the better passer ratings. Yeah, uh, I mean, absolutely. It, as long as that's going to help us and move us towards towards victories and, and wins, because that's what we got to, you know. That's what was missing last year. Was just uh, there were, we, were, we were good in some of the statistical columns, but but the one that matters, we we didn't get it done, and, and we had to find a way to do that. And uh, and so for me, it's just functioning within the system, um, not doing any more 
uh, than that, but just functioning in the system and knowing that when we go out there and we do win games, it's going to be as a team. And uh, and so um, I'm excited about playing, absolutely, um, especially um, as, we've, as we've talked about before, just you know, at my tender age, um, <laughs> these opportunities, you know, you, you don't take lightly. And uh, and so uh, I'm looking forward to, to competing with these guys. Um, I loved watching them play yesterday and, and watching them fight. And uh, and so I want to do whatever I can to help us. Josh, is this offense similar to any of the other stops you've made around in, in your years? Uh, yeah, oh yeah. There's there's always different things. I think it's just how people, apply, you know, how different coaches apply things. Uh, uh, well, everybody, the most similar to, everybody guess. runs the same plays. Um, <coughs> uh, there's because there's some similarity and some carryover from some of the stuff we did with Flip last year. There's uh, some stuff similar to to uh, to what I did with uh, with Mark in Chicago and uh, in 2013. And so and there's stuff that I did 12 years ago. You know, you just different plays because everybody's been around. But it's how it's coached, it's how it's taught, it's when it's called, all those things. That's what makes it different, and uh, and that's what makes you unique, I think, uh, because um, because of his ability to just not only he and Pep's ability to teach it, um, but uh, but then his ability as a play caller to to call it at the right time. So um, so there's not a whole lot that people do different. It's just it's just the way they coach and teach it, and, and the details that they ascribe to their players and the standard that they hold them to. And so. Um, we're held to a high standard here, you know, so we expect that Sunday we'll go out and execute at a higher level.